In a previous video, I showed you how to create a kernel density plot in SPSS with some syntax. Now, what I'm going to follow up with is a rug plot, or what I would call a point plot, that can be added to a kernel density plot to make it even more informative and I think also consistent with the fashion these days in research papers. So it's the same data that I showed the kernel density plot with variable 1. And the syntax required for this process is similar to the kernel density function syntax that I showed in the previous video. There are two key elements that are different. We've got the trans, which actually changes where the rug plot or the point plot is actually going to sit in the chart. And there's also this piece of information here, which is the actual rug plot. And in this case, it's supposed to be interval, which I would say is a proper rug plot. But it actually, I can't actually get it to work for some reason. I just literally can't get the chart to reproduce this element here. This is the rug part, kind of like a shaggy rug with the piles sticking up. That's the rug element here. I can't get that to quite work, but I can get the point plot to work in conjunction with the density plot. And so this is that syntax here. I'm going to include a link to this syntax file as well, and you can download it. And as I mentioned in the kernel density plot, this is work that was done by Andrew Wheeler, posted years ago on an IBM developer uh, post. So I'll show you how to do it with the point plot here, which is the second portion of the syntax. So if I highlight that and run selection, I get the density kernel density plot that I showed in the previous video. And also now you can see the points, which are the observations associated with the variable. And so you can see there's a lot of observations here. And then it kind of peters out and peters out even more. You can see the bunching up here, consistent with the kernel density function. There's the bunching up of the observations here based on the points. And so you can pretty this up a little bit by getting rid of the grid line. and also making it square. So that's it there. That's a kernel density plot overlaid with a rug plot or a point plot uh, because it doesn't really look like the piles in a rug. Now, what I mentioned earlier in the video was that you can manipulate this trans rug equal eval minus 15. If you change this to a smaller value, you'll see that it actually changes where the points sit on the chart. So let me run that again. Run selection. And you can see now it's, it's minus 5 and it's very close to the bar of 0. Whereas when it was minus 15, it was even lower. And so the larger the number, the, or I should say the more negative the number, the lower it's going to sit in the chart. So you can manipulate that to see where you want exactly to place it. Uh, so just change that number. So just keep changing this number here until you're satisfied where the points actually sit. Now again, to show you that intervals should work, but I just can't get it to work in this version of SPSS won't do it. It's just creating the density plot. And there's not, I can't really, I can't see anything that would suggest that there's a rug element to this plot. I'm not sure why it's not working, but you do have the point plot, and I believe there's other, there might be some other options as well in SPSS to change this from interval, uh, point, who knows, there might be other ones like star, etc. Uh, I might check at some point and see all the various options that can be made, but at the very least, you can create a kernel density plot with a rug plot, uh, really points. And if somebody can get the interval portion working, then uh, all the power to you, because I do think it looks better uh, with the interval slash small bars in the uh, as a representation of the rug plot.